Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the still segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce the new lofted plate command, which is available in Tecla Structures version 2019i. What this command allows us to do is to utilize the construction line arcs and circles that are already in the model as modeling aids that we can select to create complex pieces of plate that we haven't been able to in the past. So let me give you a quick example of this. If you look at the scenario that I have modeled here, what I'm trying to do is to create a plate in the shape of where these two arcs are at the top and the bottom. So let's say that I tried to do this creating the standalone bent plate, a command that's very useful that we released recently. So I'll go ahead and pick the center of that plate and then I'll just pick my start and my end points as you can see here. And then I'll define the height. Uh, so the height of this is five feet. And then now if I rotate this around, you can see where I begin to run into some problems using this command. So here if I define the radius there at 4 foot 5 and model in that plate, you can see that the top portion extends out uh, and doesn't create the type of geometry that I wanted it to. So this is a very useful command, uh, but not necessarily in this scenario. So here, again, if I just highlight the arcs that I have here, I'm able to use these with the lofted plate command to create that exact shape that I want. So I'll just go ahead and pick those two, and now you can see that it's created that geometry exactly the way that I need it to be. So what I'll do is go ahead and interrupt this command, and then I'll redraw the view here. And now you can see that I have several scenarios modeled in. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other things that we can do with the lofted plate command. So what I'll do is activate the command again and here I can pick two different arcs in different directions to create this warped type shape that you can see there. If I change my solid representation there you can see uh, how that's creating that using an arc to an arc. We also have the ability to uh, pick a construction line to construction line again to create a warped type plate so you can see that there modeled in. And then, of course, we can also pick an arc to a construction line to create those types of shapes, um, as you can see there as well. So a couple other examples here. I can also pick a construction circle to construction circle to create like a cone type shape. If I switch to a plan view, you can see that I have two circles modeled in, but they're offset. So if I go ahead and click those, that will create this shape here of kind of an offset cone. The nice thing about this as well is that once the shape is created you can come in and modify it using our direct modification. So if I want to change the radius at the top for example or come in and modify the height um, I can use that using the direct modification like you can in other areas of tackle structures. So when we come in and create these lofted plates, there's actually two methods uh, or ways to create those. I can create them using two construction objects like you've seen, or I can actually come in and create those using one construction object and a point. So if I pick this construction object, I can then click and drag and you can see the preview on screen of what will be created when I click. So I'll just go ahead and click there and of course we can come in and modify this uh, just like we looked at recently here. So if I wanted to tweak and adjust that, uh, we can do that. So let's go ahead and create something a little more complex, maybe a complex bin or hopper for example. So I have these arcs modeled in, so I'll just go ahead and pick those and I'll just go ahead and create one side. So we'll just create this all the way down. You can see picking there um, this variation between arcs, lines, modeled in with different segments to create the different types of plates or splices that we may need. So I'll just uh, do a few more of these so that we can see this begin to take shape. So I'll do the same here on the opposite side. Uh, clicking down there and rotate this around. So um, again, you can be really creative in modeling in your lines, arcs, and circles to create more complex shapes as you can see here. So let's take another example here. This is an example where it looks like I have a circle at the top, but I've actually broken this down into individual arcs and lines to create the individual pieces of plate and splice points exactly where I want them. So I'll go ahead and click that location there, and then I have this arc down to this arc. And you can see that it's separating these into the different shapes, um, just like we would fabricate or need or want them. So I'll go ahead and just complete this out and then go ahead and switch to a plan view uh, so that we can see 
the complexity of the shape that's been generated. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you can see here we're going from a circle down to like an oval type shape um, using a combination of lines and arcs. So as you go through and create these, one of the things that you might have happen is a scenario like this where you've modeled in your lines or your arcs or your circles and when you go to generate that uh, you get just this thin piece uh, of line here. So what happened here is the shape failed to create. If you think of arcs and lines with a start and an end point, the tool tries to take the start points from the arcs and the end points of the arcs to use those to generate the shape. In this example, I actually have those reversed. So the start point and the end point for the top and bottom arcs are opposite of each other. And that's why you can see these lines crisscrossing. So instead of deleting these and remodeling them, what we've added here is this swap ends command, similar to the swap handles command that we would use for channels or angles. So I can just go ahead and run that. And now when I go in and combine these, it will create the shape just as I was hoping it would. So it makes it real nice and easy if you go in and model in the lines, circles, and arcs, and for some reason it fails, just go ahead and swap those handles so that the logic is consistent and it can go in and create the plate as anticipated. So as mentioned, this is available in Tackle Structures version 2019i. We invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.